Bam. Meow. So this is part one of this little sketch. And I have sped it up to twice the speed so you can learn lots twice as fast. So I'm just kind of mapping in Kitty here. I just, you see, I just get the general shapes at this stage. I'm not worrying about about any details like hair or anything like that. Not even a suggestion of hair at this stage. I just want those general shapes. And I find it way easier to get accuracy, accuracy to get convincing accuracy doing it this way. It's a good idea to squint at your subject. We call it the artist's magic squint. And that way you basically see shapes and values more than details. And notice my lines are quite angular. I'll take the curve in separate angles. And I find that that really adds a lot of energy to my drawing. Now I'm starting to strengthen up the lines that I like a little better and noticing where I need to make some corrections. Yes, and please join our cat drawing art workshop on Facebook. It's a Facebook group and you'll find the link in the description below. We'd love to have you help build our community. So now I see I got a big correction here to do. My pers perspective was off a little bit, so I'm just doing a bit of minimal erasing just to get back on track. Aiming for that flow. The flow connecting the whole drawing to itself, I guess. Keeping the eye in the subject. And I put the paper underneath my hand so I don't smudge my drawing. Normally I use a glove, but I didn't have it handy. Um, you just want to make sure you don't slide the paper. I'm just getting some lines in for those eyes. Little eye pockets I'm creating. Oh yes, and don't forget to subscribe, help grow our community, hit that little bell so you get notified when I've got another video up here. That's the line for the nose there. And then I'll kind of start getting the muzzle in there. The shapes I'm drawing at, the, at this stage that I've drawn so far, um, are what I feel are important for the drawing. And it's different for everyone. So do what works for you. Take what you learn from me and make it your own. Do what works for you. Be your own artist. I just want to give you some ideas. I love getting that mouth in with a little flicky line. Just makes it so expressive. So as I said, this is part one, and I plan to do the next part and put it up there for you too. And I want to thank you so much for watching, and please leave a comment. Let me know what you want to know about drawing cats. Let me know what your cat's name is. Let me know where you live. I love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.